What's up, Tubies? Okay, so I'm sitting in my car and whew, I'm about to go get my big shop. <laughs> so my appointment time is in like 20 minutes. So I'm really about to just head on in there. But I want to see, want y'all to see. I just didn't really do anything with my hair today. I, I washed it this morning and I just let it air dry and it just, you know, puffed all up. But I'm about to get all this cut off. Y'all gotta excuse my face. I think I did my eyebrows too dark. Um, yeah, I'm almost positive I did my eyebrows too dark. Um, and I was like rushing, trying to hurry and get my makeup done because I had, uh, I worked half a day today. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna come back to y'all after my hair is cut. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm excited but nervous. Who I'm nervous? Is, is there a word for that? I don't even know. Ooh. I'm excited but nervous. I haven't had my hair cut short, as short as I'm going to go since I big chopped. But I don't know why I'm nervous because this is something I really wanted. I'm not going to lie. I want it. I'm not. I'm just nervous. I don't know. But I'm excited. Oh my God, it's big chop day. <laughs> All right, I'm going to talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, so I did my big chop and here it is. All the way around. So I'm pretty okay with it. Actually, I thought I was going to have more hair than what I did. I didn't expect it to be so short, but I'm okay with that because I'm okay with short hair. Um, but what I'm about to do, because it's not really, my curls aren't defined or anything. They just pretty much like just cut it and, you know, put a little stuff on and just did like that. But, you know, I haven't gone through and actually shingled my hair the way I would usually do. But what I'm going to do, because I'm not feeling, I, my natural hair color is like so, so dark. And I didn't realize my hair was this dark when I was relaxed back in the day when I was relaxed I didn't realize my hair was this dark I'm sorry I didn't realize my hair was this dark until I went natural and I didn't realize my hair was like almost almost jet black but who knew um also too if you look closely I still have a little bit of purple tips and yeah so I'm about to curl I mean not curl I'm about to color my hair and I got clear off textures and tones in um this in red hot red i've done this color before when my hair uh was natural when it was a little bit longer but because my hair is so short i didn't want to you know i love color and i have to have some kind of color in my hair i didn't want my hair i didn't want a drastic color change with my hair being so short so i went with this because i wanted just a little bit of red and yeah so um i'm gonna color my hair I'm not going to record that I'm not gonna record that because y'all have seen people color their hair many a times um I guess that's it uh I'm gonna come back tomorrow because it's about to get dark I'm gonna color my hair and I'm gonna put a deep condition on it I'm gonna deep condition my hair after I color it that's very important people if you're gonna color your hair make sure you do a real good deep condition after and actually I think I'm gonna deep condition overnight so I will come back at y'all tomorrow so I can see the finished results of everything on my hair. <laughs> All right, bye. Okay, so it's two days later since the last, um, since, well, the clip before this, because I'm doing this all in one clip. Okay, so that night I did color my hair. It didn't take. It took a little bit at the root and didn't take it all on the ends. So... The next day, which was yesterday, I colored my hair again. Same color. Now, I know I'm not supposed to dye my hair two days in a row, but y'all know me. I take chances. It's it's like, I don't know. My hair is like really rebelling. My hair is like freshly washed right now, so I don't have any product in it. It's just like a little bit wet. Um, But I'm trying to get in the light. <laughs> my roots are light. And my ends are black. So, I don't know. I'm okay with it. I actually, I'm actually okay with the color. That's all right for me. That's not the issue. The issue is, I'm not liking my, I'm not liking my TWA. I'm not liking my little afro. My teeny weeny afro, I'm not feeling it. Um, I, I guess, I think, I thought it was going to be longer. Seriously, seriously, I think I probably got more cut off than what should have been cut off. And then I also didn't factor in the shrinkage part of it. Um, but yeah. See, I like the color. I'm, I'm okay with the color. It's like a kind of tiger stripe-ish. You know me, I, I like anything kind of weird. 
but I'm not feeling the short hair. Um, I thought I was ready, and then I thought I was ready, but I'm not. So, what I'm about to go do is I'm about to go get my hair corn rolled. Corn, I always put a L, two L's on in corn rolled. I'm gonna go get my hair corn rolled, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go get it corn rolled. And in two weeks, I'm gonna get micro braids and keep those in for about a month or so and see what happens from there. I'm just not, I don't know. I think I kind of went into that, that whole, a, a small little depression of what happened when I, when I big chopped the first time and I didn't expect that to happen, but hey, it happened. Um, but I'm still happy that I got my hair cut. I, I am. I'm still happy that I got it cut and I'm not going to lie, when I washed my hair, oh, oh, it, it just felt so wonderful. I didn't have to worry about all the little straight tangly ends. So that part I have no problem with. The only problem is I'm just I don't think I'm I wanna wash wear my hair out like this. Also too sorry, you know Facebook got me over here. Um also too, when I cut my hair off, I noticed yeah, I I'm gaining my weight back because my face is my face is a bit fatter than what I, I want it to look. So all that did is just give me a push to get out there and start walking. I gotta get this weight off. And maybe if my face is smaller, the hair won't bother me as much. I don't know. I feel like I'm all over the place with my hair right now. So I'm just about to put this stuff. <laughs> I'm just about to put this stuff away. I'm just going to braid it up and get a corn roll for two weeks and call it a day. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I was thinking, well, maybe if I had makeup on. Because I don't have any makeup on now. I'm going to do my makeup after I get my hair braided. But, um... Sorry, Facebook got me again. Um, see, now I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, makeup. I was thinking maybe if my if I had makeup on my face, I'd be okay with my hair. But even when I did have my face made up, I was still like, mm, my face is kind of chubby. I'm not feeling it. It's too short. It's I, I don't know. And the other thing is, too, for me to have transitioned six months, like six months in what? Six months? Six months in two weeks? Six months? Like six months and two weeks, I think. I sh think I should have had more hair. This seems like it's the same amount of hair I had when I got my hair cut when I big chopped the first time, and I transitioned for um, I transitioned what maybe three months. It, it seems like the same amount of hair, but I don't know. I could be going just through, you know, post BC depression. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. I'm about to braid it and put this stuff away. So I'll come back after it's braided. I'm back and this is, again, this is the day after. I, I don't know why I'm making this video. This video has been taking place since, what, Thursday? <laughs> it's Sunday now. Happy Easter. Um, Yeah, it's Sunday now and I'm back again <laughs> showing my hair. So I got it braided and actually with the braided, you can actually see the color that took place at the roots. So I'm very happy with my hair braided. My little sister braided my hair. And yeah, I'm. I don't. I don't know what happened. I was really excited and gung ho. Yeah, I'm gonna get my big chop. I'm gonna have my little teeny weeny afro, and got it cut. And I don't know. I I just. I don't know. Still happy that I got it cut, but um, yeah, I'm not ready to wear it out. But I like it better like this anyway, cause now I don't have to do anything to it. I don't have to worry about moisturizing. I don't have to do nothing. I could just wrap it up at night. Maybe put a little something on my edges or whatever, you know, in a few days. But I don't have to do anything with it right now. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. And then in two weeks, I'm getting micro braids. So hopefully I'll keep those in about, maybe about at least maybe a month or two. We'll see. So, sorry I didn't want to make this video any longer <laughs> than what it has been. But I want to put it all on one video to see. Yeah, I, I as usual, I'm all over the place. <laughs> And, um, I'm about to, I just did a, a tutorial on this makeup look. Um, I think I titled it Spring Forward. Um, so I'm about to go wash my face and switch into my gym clothes and go walk at the track because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gaining my weight back. We'll see what the weight is tomorrow when I get on the scale for the first time in three weeks. I haven't gotten on it, so we'll see what's going on with that. 
But I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on with my hair. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.